At the end of this tutorial, you're going to be able to create this revolved part with these extensions, these lugs, holes, patterning, shelling, all of that's covered. Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're going to be building this part, so let's get started. Starting a new brand new part uh, by hitting this, I'm going to hit the plus sign and start a brand new file. First thing I'm going to do is make sure my units are set to what I want to work in, whether it's inches or millimeters. I'm working in millimeters for this part. I actually don't have uh, the dimensions. I'm going to kind of build this one from scratch. So good practice for that. We're going to go to the front plane and start a sketch. And we're going to be working in the design toolbar. I'm going to start by sketching a line. First thing we want to do is sketch a rough shape that we're going to spin 360 degrees. So I do a line and a line connecting to the origin because that's where everything needs to relate to in order to be defined as well as my planes. My three planes will stay in the middle here if I, if I use my origin correctly. Type in S for search and look for the arc command. Three point arc. Select that point and that point. I'm going to drag it in. Just a rough shape. If you want to do the same dimensions, we'll do 40 by 70, a radius of 125. Great. And so we can adjust these by double clicking, changing them. Double clicking. Awesome. Okay, so now what we want to do is make a round part. I type in S for search, revolve. I'm going to revolve this profile and I'm going to revolve around this axis. It's going to go around 360 degrees. Hit OK. Now if I don't like this, at any time come down to the timeline, find the sketch, find the revolve. Right click on either one to edit. Right click on the sketch and choose Edit Sketch. Come back in, make any necessary changes. I'm going to go down to 100 just because we're here. Okay, so we've got the revolve done. Now how do we hollow this out? That's called the shell command. Type S for search, shell. I'm gonna shell this entire body and I'm also gonna remove this face. Let's go to the bodies. Select body from the browser. Type in the thickness, one millimeter, hit okay. What's gonna happen? It's actually been hollowed out on the inside. So let's edit that shell. And what I wanna do is select the bottom face. Okay, so we're doing this body, but I'm gonna do this face it removes that face and hollows the rest, and we can adjust the thickness. I'm gonna do a five millimeter thickness. There we go. This uh, sketch is still showing up. I'm gonna come over to my browser, find the sketch, hit the visual eyeball, and that hides it. You can also hit V on the keyboard. Okay, so the next thing, let's do those lugs. We're only gonna do one, and then we're gonna pattern it. We'll look at the bottom view, start a sketch on this face. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. You actually don't have to sketch everything. So if I come in and I just do a rough rectangle, go to line, sketch a line from the center going up. It's connected. Make sure the line's going vertical. Select it, hit vertical on the constraint. Now I'm gonna select this and hit X on the keyboard so it goes to construction. So it's just more of a reference. And I'd like to, I'll select the line, hold control or command, select the other line, select the construction line. Those three things, symmetric is highlighted, hit that, and it's going to move it over, yay, okay. So what's happening here? It is sensitive to the order in which you pick. Okay, so how do we do it? These two lines about this construction line. There we go. So we'll do that construction line last. And you can see it stays symmetric about that shape. Awesome. So I'm gonna do a width for this rectangle of 20. And the height is not as important as long as it's bigger and stretches over this face. That's really what I'm concerned about for now because we're gonna use that as a reference. Okay, it's fully defined, locked in, but notice how it now highlights this profile that I can use. So what I'm going to do is just select it, hit extrude on the keyboard or E, bring this down 15 and hit join. OK, 
Okay, so it just extruded that lug, that's awesome. And same thing, I'm now gonna extend the foot on that sketch on that face, sketch a line out to go to an arc. This is a tangent arc. And how do you do that? If you haven't seen that before in my other videos, you can do line. And then as you're about to sketch the second line, drag out from the corner and it places a tangent arc. It's a nice little shortcut. Or you can of course just find it right on the search tool. Search for arc, tangent arc, nice. Okay, so I didn't even complete that, but we can still use it, it's pretty awesome. So we'll hit extrude, we'll select all three shapes, extrude down, let's do about a five millimeter little foot and join it. And there we go, we've got our lug, pretty cool with the foot. Now we also maybe wanna do a hole. So we'll start a sketch on that face, drop in a circle. I'm gonna do a dimension diameter of 10. I'm gonna extrude it all the way through. Okay, that wasn't intelligent on my, I just dragged it. So we could make sure it always goes all the way through and do this through all selection. Now it's more intelligent, it will always update. I'm gonna hide these sketches. Great, hit the home key and now we can see this a little better. I like to pattern this. So I'm gonna just type in search, S for search, pattern. It's a circular pattern. We're patterning some features in this case. We're gonna pattern the lug extrude and the hole and the foot. So it's three different features around what axis? You could select this axis in the middle or this round edge, both work. How many do we want? We want four total feet, including the original. Hit okay. Does it just solve? It looks like it solves great. Terrific. So if you're looking for other tutorials as a beginner to get started, or you'd like to check out my 23 things that beginners should learn, check these out. I'll see you in the next video.